Twice a year, geostationary satellites experience something called sunfade. During sunfade, it's impossible to receive any data from a satellite. This is something that broadcasters have dealt with for many, many years, and usually it's not an issue because there's alternative means of feeding a station for that short time. So, what causes sunfade? Well, geosynchronous satellites are orbiting the Earth at an altitude and speed that make them appear to stay in one spot in the sky at all times. For those of you who remember records, the outside of the record was traveling faster than the inside of the record. Basically, it's the same thing. The satellite is 22,300 miles above the surface of the Earth, above the equator, and is traveling at about 7,000 miles per hour or 11,300 kilometers per hour. Remember that the Earth rotates on its axis and it orbits the sun as well. So twice a year, the conditions are just right that the satellite transits in front of the sun. Imagine that your satellite dish is like a telescope and what happens is that the sun appears to be right behind the satellite. The sun is a very powerful transmitter. Look what it does every day. It transmits electromagnetic energy and that warms the earth up. So it will be transmitting on the same frequencies that the satellite is transmitting on. The uplink side is fine. The sun isn't behind the uplink side because well, that is on the surface of the Earth. So the satellite can hear the uplink just fine. The satellite then retransmit the uplink signal back down towards the Earth, and that's where the problem shows up. The downlinks are looking up into the sky, and what goes across the sky behind the satellite? Well, that big transmitter we call the sun. So the random RF from the sun floods the receivers with noise, and that noise drowns out the signal that we're trying to receive from the satellites. I've mentioned before the signal to noise ratio, that is the amount of signal compared to the amount of noise surrounding the signal. If that ratio gets too low, then the receivers are not able to distinguish the signal's data and you lose the lock on the satellite for a time until that noise fades away. For KU and C-band satellites, which are what most of the broadcasters use to transmit their audio or video, that outage will last over a few days for a few seconds to upwards of like 15 minutes. There's nothing that the broadcaster can do except wait it out and find an alternative program source for that time. Well, that's it for the basics of Sunfade. Uh, you know, a fun little event that we have to deal with twice a year. Thanks for watching this video on Broadcast Basics. It's a series of videos that I'm doing teaching you the basics of broadcast. So until next time, stay safe, stay healthy, and keep learning.